Hi guys, Brendan here from Advanced Radio and today we're going to take you through a quick installation guide on how to set up your new telemetry switch with a Futaba radio. The setup is very very simple. Today we'll be powering the switch with two AR power packs and the reason we're using two is because it's a dual battery redundancy or battery backup switch. It also provides the telemetry for both batteries to your radio. So you'll be able to see the voltages and the capacity of both those batteries. Today we'll be using a single receiver, a 7008. However, you can use it with a dual receiver setup. And we're powering the switch just from one of the outputs. So if you see that, we've got it connected to any of the servo input channels. And then underneath that in the SBUS2 port, there's a tiny little cable there that runs all the way back to the switch. And we'll be plugging that into the Telem port of the switch. Now, if I turn the radio on, go into the telemetry menu, power the system on, the telemetry comes up straight away. With Futaba, you have to set the telemetry slots. Currently, we use the current sensor 1678 on slots 24 and 27. And the reason why the telemetry switch works so fast with the Futaba radio or with any of these radios is because it has auto protocol sensing technology which means you can install this switch with any of these radios and within a second it'll find the correct protocol and put the telemetry on there for you. The T-switch is available from your local advanced radio dealer or from boomeric.com.